Hello everyone, my name is Valeria Prati and you are uh, with True Horses. Today we're going to be riding Future, the sweet little chestnut guy. He is a 12 year old gelding by uh, Apache. He's my main horse at the moment. He is uh, uh, competing on the intermediate one level preparing to go intermediate too soon. He's very clever, he knows a lot of things. And we're going to show you today a little bit how we work with him, how do we warm up, uh, how do we work on some elements, depending on how he will feel. Uh, we'll see what are we going to do and I'll be explaining you and leading you along the way with us. So we usually warm up in walk around 10 minutes. By warm up I mean just you know walking on a long rain, uh, letting him do whatever he wants. So we usually start with uh, 10 minutes of walk just on a long rain, like you can see now. Uh, stretching and also letting him you know look a little bit um, so that he's quite relaxed you know and feeling good but at the same time we want to push him forward so that he already starts uh, starts to stretch starts to move forward you know take the rain you know soft with the fingers a little bit pushing him at the same time just like that. We want him to be relaxed and nicely moving forward. So, uh, so yeah, with him we focus on going forward, you know, stretching. Um, -da. So now we're gonna start off with short with the same long reins, stretching forward. So the idea is always to control the pace with the outside rein and the inside rein is for the bending around your inside leg. But in the beginning, uh, the first few minutes, it's also important just to let him stretch out along, uh, go on his own pace. Try to keep your hands forward. This is the position of the neck that we're looking for. He's stretching, taking me forward in balance with his own body. And then, if we can, we make the reins longer to give him room to stretch even more. We don't want to go too deep or overflex him, but of course, in case he puts the neck up, we correct him with a half fold of the outside rein and a vibration of the inside rein. Changing the rein and all same, the idea of the warm up is yeah, just to let him find uh, his balance, warm up the muscles, stretch the muscles. Here I'm starting a bit of uh, a bend to both sides to make it more supple, but still long, long neck like that.
This isn't a shoulder in. It's a bend through the neck in his jaw. Why not holding the flexion for too long? We just want to make sure that he softens, relaxes the rein, and uh, we should make him carry himself and his weight, not to have that weight in the reins. And if he put his up, uh, head up, quick correction. So transition to canter. Same idea, moving forward. You can use the whip where your leg goes in case if he is not off the leg enough. But it's important that in the warm-up, he stays off your leg and taking you forward. Here you can see I always try to think about my position because my right leg moves more than my left one due to uh, unknown reason. So I try to pay attention to that. Stay still with my upper body and breathe, most importantly. When you start paying attention to these little things, in the end they all, you know, put in into a nice uh, looking rider. So I try to focus on my sitting a lot. So lots of outside rain for the balance. He is pretty soft since we worked on the flexion already in trot. So here let's focus on the forwardness make him off the leg. When we come to the exercise, we want him to be sharp. We can also work some transitions to trot. The idea is that he falls into trot easily without slowing down the pace. Yeah, like here. Keeping the same position of the neck, down, stretching. Here, I'm very happy with how he did it. And back to canter. This is usually the easier transition. You can make the sound for him to give him an aid that you are going that you go, you're going to slow down. Voice aids are important with horses. Forward in the trot, like here. Changing the rain. Now we're going to do a bit of collection to prepare for the um, main part of the training. We don't want full collection or to keep it for too long. What's important is the reaction. Reaction of the hind leg and straightness and forwardness. Yeah. The hind leg should step through and then again forward. Yep. Yeah. Just a tiny bit of a reaction. We don't uh, ask for much in the warm up, but he did pretty well here. Thanks a lot for watching this video guys, I hope you liked it and I hope you got some interesting, uh, insightful information about how to warm up a dressage horse. Uh, please subscribe to our channel, uh, if you want to support us, like this video, if you want to see more of our videos, check out our channel and have a good day for me and Future, who is clearly more interested in peacocks than us. Bye!